The protest here started hours before the football game. It began as a peaceful march on the stadium, all about politics, but it's descended into violence, clashes with police. You can see the result of that here. This uh, car still smoking behind me, uh, burnt out by the protesters. We saw a public bus as well that had been smashed all the windows uh, smashed by the protesters too. Now there's this uh, tense standoff between the riot police, a large number of riot police there, and the protesters who have been pushed back onto an embankment just in the distance. At the beginning, there were around about 5,000 people involved in this demonstration. They said they wanted it to be peaceful, but uh, a group of young men started throwing stones, started throwing fireworks at police, and the police responded with huge volleys of tear gas. And for hours now, They've been uh, pushing them back, pushing them away from the football stadium to try to let the game go on, try to get fan, let fans get through to the football. Football fans we saw running through the crowds, through the riot police and through the tear gas with their tickets in their hands. Of course, not the image that Brazil wanted to present to the world during this Confederations Cup, which was meant to be a dry run for the World Cup next year.